Soprasteria Norway, we are leading the Nordics and we're also part of the Soprasteria group. Uh, we are about 3,000 employees in, in Norway and over 50,000 worldwide in, in 30 countries. And we've been a VMware partner for, for many years. Soprasteria has been chosen as a sovereign cloud partner for many of our customers because we have an extremely good track record when it comes to special needs at our customers. Customers that are uh, focused on security and availability and confidentiality. Uh, so we have built our sovereign cloud offerings on the VMware platform in order to address that. Uh, and we combine that with our consultancy services. Uh, so we believe that combining our consultancy muscle together with our service offerings, uh, that's a perfect combination. So Prasteria is offering multi-cloud services through our right cloud and VMware-based solid cloud offering. Uh, our solid cloud offering is uh, a true uh, sovereign cloud platform that can both run container-based applications and traditional applications. We also uh, add on top of that our own offerings, also sovereign cloud enabled, like, like right security, right data, right SAPs, and right service. And uh, we complement all this with our consultancy muscle, and that's really important for our customers. It's important for uh, Soprasteria to, to show our VMware competency. Uh, many of our customers are relying on uh, the VMware platform for their mission critical services. So having this uh, VMware Sovereign Cloud approval verifies the Soprasteria, both our commitment and our competency. Soprasteria and our customers have to comply to both local and international regulations like ISO, GDPR and TREMS2. But also our local government has extremely strict regulations when it comes to security and compliance. We have something called the Norwegian security law uh, for running Christian nat national services that both we at Soprasteria and our customers has to comply to. We see that uh, the customers are still asking questions. We see that the government and the politicians are making new rules and regulations that we have to comply to. Also, the geopolitical situation in Europe is, uh, is affecting all this. We also see some political involvement locally here in Norway. There's a lot of questions about should the Norwegian government create their own sort of sovereign cloud? Or should this be something that uh, we place with our partners like Soprasteria. We believe that a sovereign cloud must be a part of the digital transformation at our customers. It's not only for legacy application, it's also for the new and modern applications. We also believe that it's important to avail, uh, avoid uh, lock-in and silos when it comes to sovereign cloud. And to add on to that, uh, we at Soprasteria, if we really look forward two, three years, we truly believe in an ecosystem where Soprasteria and other sovereign cloud providers could uh, come together on one platform, adding services on top of that. Transformation services, application services, security, security services and so forth. Uh, like a community contribution. Uh, a sort of an app store for cloud providers, basically.